One, two, three. I'm not hearing myself talking, but I am talking, right? And let's go up here. Sure. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and continue on because I see it up here working. So, you know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to stop it. And I'm going to go to... Welcome to, uh, if you like, a makeup recording, a redo, a punt, pick your metaphor, uh, for our last two modules. I don't really need to go, I'm not going to go over everything in module three because that has been done. I just want to make sure that everyone understands how to make an Ed puzzle and then take it out and put it in to our live text. Then I want to go over the resources available for you in Module 4 that uh, you can use. And then I want to look at the hat. And I want to show you something very important about the hat that is in live text. But let's go ahead and go back to Module 3, pick up with Edpuzzle to make sure that we understand how it works. The first thing you do is when you want to create an Ed Puzzle, is you go find the Ed Puzzle, the video that you want to use. And you do that by clicking on the Create button. Once you've done that, what you're going to do is you're going to decide where you're going to get your video from. And all of those are located right over here. And as you can see, it's quite the collection. So if I go into YouTube and I type up here, let's just do UDL, um, I can come down and find all kinds of videos that I might want to use. So let's go ahead and we'll grab this one. And I'm going to give it a quick watch. And of course, what I'm looking for here is, does this fill my needs of what I want to use with my students? Okay. So the first thing I can do is I can come down here and I can play with watching the video and then moving through it to get to the point where it's something I want to use. So right here it starts with talking about the three brain networks that form a great deal of what Dr. Rose talks about. So I'm going to slide back here to where it says learning. I'm then going to bring the other in. So I'm going to bring over my beginning to start there and then I'm going to come over here to my other and I'm going to bring it in to where it ends here. Now I can do that but just by simply scrolling through and as you can see it's pretty short and that's fine. So I'm going to make sure uh, what happens here by turning it on. Okay, so now I'm going to stop there, come back in, pull it in to here. So at this point, I have cropped in to my video the pieces that I need, and it's just a short of a minute. Now, if I come up here and choose one of these, the crop then will take place. So let's go over the three. The first one is an audio track. If I wanted to totally wipe out the audio track on this one minute of video that I have, and I certainly might want to do that, because the video might be what I want, 
but what they're saying is not what I want. I don't need to do that here. I think it does a pretty good job. But here is where I can add an audio note. So when I click on that, you'll see now that everything down here just changed. So now this represents the crop. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my audio note, and I'm going to pull it back here. Now I have the ability to come in here and click on this and leave an introduction or an expansion of what it is that the kids are going to watch. I can also put in some watch fours in here. And all I have to do to do that is click on the microphone. And now it is recording my voice talking about this. This is the universal design for curriculum. I want you to pay particular attention to when it talks about the three brain networks. I'll click off. It is now there, and I'm all set to go. The third and final piece, and by the way, can you do more than one of these notes? Of course. The third and final piece is I can now put a quiz in. To put the quiz in, I basically come up here and click on this. If I want to, I can watch the little video. It's cute. It tells me how to do it. Okay. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click on the little button. Now notice my audio note is sitting up here. Now I have the ability for me to go in and create a multiple choice, a short answer, however I want to do it. Let's do multiple choice real fast. Each of, oops, each of these is a part of the brain network except and so down here I can do recognition strategic more effective and one more creative okay I've done that so now I have I'm going to save it Okay, so you can hear my note. I need to move my I need to move my brain question. And I'm going to put it all the way, of course, down here at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and put it right here at the end. There we go. So now I have a note and I have the ability to have a little quiz put in here. And that's it. That's all there is to it. And once you do that, you can put it here, you can put it there, you can put it wherever you want to put it. You now have completed your wonderful, wonderful, I'm up here and save it. You can finish it. Now, for our purposes, 
you're going to share it with anyone. And when you do that, you would now want to copy out this link right here. And that link then goes over into your live text document, which we'll go over here in just a second. And that's all there is to it. Now, I picked a really easy one. <laughs> I picked a very, very easy one to do. So realize that what you're doing is, um, I'll go ahead and tell this later. What you're doing here is is you're coming in. And by the way, um, you can log into this with my username, the svswan02 at louisville.edu, password ULIT, 241. Or you can create your own class, because this one's not a cost. And if I were you, I think I might want to go in and do just that. I might want to go in and create my own class. And that way, you could really start taking advantage of this. And as you can see now, it's down here. And it's waiting for me to I can do all kinds of things with where it can go. All right. So that's a quick review of the Ed Puzzle for module number three. And real quickly, here's module number four which is made up of examples that students gave over the years as tools that they use in their classroom. Uh, if you go into the module, there is even more. Now, if you already have a tool in mind, or if you're using something in your classroom, uh, you don't have to recreate the wheel here, folks. Just use what you use. Speaking of that, let's move on to the final. What this is is basically just a redo of what you did in the module about understanding by design. So you already have one of these completed. Let's go over to, let me go ahead and close this. Let's go over to Live Text. And you'll notice in Live Text, unlike other classes you've taken, where there's module one, two, three, four, you have all these different modules. This one's made up of just two, basically, two assignments. Let's look at the reflective papers. And these are lifted right out of the modules. There's nothing different here in the wording, <coughs> the language, that is any different than what was in the module that it's based upon. And as you can see here, the one thing, the first thing it says, using picture chart, uh, put together a uh, infographic that weaves together the concepts of TPAC and SAMR. And we talked about that a lot. Uh, that TPAC is essentially a research-based uh, way of looking at technology integration. SAMR is very much a practitioner base. It's a teacher base. Um, and if you want to use that uh, to show the differences between the two, go right ahead. If you want to try to find similarities between the two, go right ahead. If you just want to say, this is TPAC, this is SAMR, go right ahead. The thing, though, that you are doing down here that's a little bit different is you're going to go in here and you're going to go find uh, one of the videos from this website. The videos are located down at the bottom. And what you're doing is, is you're going to take one of these videos. Sorry, it's taking a while to load. You're going to take one of these videos, and you're going to use the TPAC observation instrument, which is located right here. But more importantly, it's located in 
the live text assignment. And so what you're going to do is you're going to find one that you like. You're going to copy the video URL. You're not going to embed it. Just copy the video URL. And then up here, excuse me, in the assignment, what you're doing is you're going to put that URL in. And then you're going to use this observation instrument. So what you're doing is, is you're going to go through it and you're going to say, when I look at matching technology to curriculum, how do I score it? Use your bold feature to be able to come in, highlight the one that it scores on, and then go ahead and put your different tapes in here. So that's number one. Number two, this is where you can fill out this lesson plan. Um, and if you're smart, you'll make this one of the lessons that's in the final. And then the last one, of course, is what we just went over. This is where you put your link from the Ed Puzzle that you made. So you have that as one assignment. That's where the three modules go. Now let's go back up. And this time, let's look at the hat. Now, for the hat, what you're doing is you're going to create five mini lessons using I think this is the one that if I open it, it will actually let me edit it. This is where you're going to create five mini lessons that reflect your use of technology in this little mini unit that you're creating. Very straightforward. We're basically going to turn on the edit, and then you can create all of this. Now, let me show you something that is certainly allowable. Because a lot of people have trouble in the live text using all these little boxes. And then we'll come back to talk about what goes in the little boxes. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, there is the link to this document in a Word document. So if you open that up and you go in and you use the Word document to put in your five little lessons, that way you can have other documents opened on your computer, copy, paste, copy, paste, put things in. When you're finished, save it and upload it to the final as an attachment. Now let's go back and look at how this works. Established goals are nothing more than your standard. When it says technology may be embedded here, it does not mean it has to be here. It may be here. Your established goal is the standard. The only reason why it says technology may be embedded here is because your technology may be the standard goal. That's all you're putting here. And nine times out of ten, it's going to go here, and it's going to go here, and it's going to go here. In other words, it's going to go in all five of your lessons. It doesn't really change. Now, if you go down to Enduring Understandings, students will understand that. Again, take it right out of whatever design you're using. You can come from the standards. It can come from the curriculum. It can come from the textbook. Students will understand that. Again, you may have technology embedded here. You may. Essential question. The essential question and the established goals pretty much remain the same throughout your five lessons. This is going to change. This will maybe stay the same. 
this may stay the same. But all of these could be the same if you're doing a unit where what you're working on is working toward a concluding uh, summative assessment as opposed to at the end of each lesson there's an assessment. So these could be the same. Understand there's nothing wrong with that. This is where you're saying this is what kids are going to do. This is, here's, here's where the split comes. Remember what Wiggins and McTeague said, that all education is about understanding with transfer. Transfer is synonymous to application. Transfer. Application. That's what performance tasks are about. Other evidence, this might be your quiz, this might be anything that you might want to use, this is where your ed puzzle could go. Okay? Again, you're doing this learning activities. This is where usually we find the technology embedded. Students will use a infographic from pick to chart to demonstrate their understanding of whatever it is I'm doing in my class. Students will use GoAnimate for schools to create a GoAnimate about whatever it is I'm doing in my class. Again, I refer you back to Module 4 where they all live. Could you have the same type of learning activity? No, they should be different. Could you use the same type of technology? Yes. Yes. Okay. So here they are. As I said, most folks choose to come down here and open that. And uh, let's see. It just went down to the bottom of my... browser here. I don't know if I can get it to open. Let's see. No, I can't. But that, in other words, wherever you would save it to on your desktop. There we go. Wherever you save it to on your desktop. There it is. It's the exact same thing. Okay. Except in a format and in a doc, in a uh, piece of technology that you're more comfortable with, and that's Word. And you've got all of your abilities to spell check and everything in here, as well as copy paste, copy paste. When you get it finished, save it, turn around, and upload it as an attachment in the class, and you are done. That's all there is to it, guys. Uh, this is not meant to be something really, really hard. This is meant for you to be able to put it together. Uh, quickly and be able to uh, have it uh, as a simple uh, assignment because you've already demonstrated through the others. They all build upon each other. Your understandings of TPAC and SAMR, your understandings of UDL, and now all you're doing is you're putting all of those together into a final product. Okay, I think we are finished. I'm hoping this time um, that this will have recorded my voice properly, and we will be a, you will be able to hear it again. As always, as always, as always. If you need help, five zero two four five seven two nine three seven. That's my text number. I've already had one student uh, make an appointment to come in to sit here in front of the big board. Is That's what I call my smart board. It sits here in my office. We sat in front of the big board together, and we worked through the final together. Uh, you are more than welcome to do that. I will probably not be presenting anymore uh, through the Collaborate, because we've, we've gone through everything. But uh, if you need me, you know how to reach me. Uh, and if you don't want to come in the office and you want to do this from home, 
but you still need me to sit and, and work you through it, I'll be more than happy to do that. Just make an appointment. We can come in through, collaborate, and work together on the final. I hope you've enjoyed this rather short course, and I hope you've enjoyed the fact that it's short. Please remember to um, do a, an evaluation of the class. Don't be afraid to let me know what things were done well as well as things that were not done well. I can only improve uh, if you, uh, until you give me guidance on what needs to be changed. Okay, I'm done. Thank you all. I hope to hear from you.